Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, let me just explain to our guests what we do here every week. Oh, oh. Me? Oh. on time. Oh. <laughs> I expect you 30 minutes from now. Okay. We're, gonna, we're actually going to pause for a minute because in honor of Nate being here on time. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's, yes, and you are getting your own special prize award. I have time to look up a certificate. All right, so what we do is every week we want to celebrate people that got paid. So they get a PA bar. Um, there's a little bit of ducking and dodging that's involved here, but that's okay. Yeah, we got there. All right, here we go. Kimberly Anderson, Nate Bear, two times. Whoa. Start. Oh. <laughs> uh, Robert Bassett, oh, Annie Bjergstrand, not in here. Bob Holding, Dave Bowman. He's coming. He's coming. He's Dave Brown? No. Nope, no, no, Dave Brown. Uh, Chris and Cole team a bunch of times. Ivan Corbin, <laughs> Kevin Cross, Ron Day, Matt Demick. Jenny got, Johnson. Yeah, Demick team rep. Johnny Shaporta, Kelly Harris, uh, Liz off the Demick team, Benjamin Hornack. Is Amy? Yeah, Amy's here. here. No, Benjamin has no? to be here. Okay, His fine. mama can't get it for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Patrick James. I know I saw him. There he is. Oh, Watch out. Nice. Whoa. That was actually decent. That was pretty Tim Kelly, July <laughs> Leslie, Belisa. What? Uh, it's in here. Belisa, right there. <laughs> nice. Uh, Kaida Lucas, better. Ryan Lucas, Amy, Mackie Hornack. Larry no, Malden, Ray Moore, Tiet <laughs> Owen, Quinn Peterson, two times, Chris Rakoff, Jonathan Rodriguez, Stuart Smith, Jen Stalkup, a couple times, Christy Tanner, a couple times, uh, Ryan Tolson, a couple times, I'll let you take one. <laughs> Dar Walden, and Dan Wolf, a couple times. Or you guys can take one to Mr. Wolf. Ah. And that's all I have on my list. All right. Congratulations, you guys. That was last week's. Um, thank you. Thank you. So, before we get into awards, I want to just. Huh? If your phone number was approved, I don't think. My what? Oh, yeah. Hold on here. I just, there we go. I was about to <laughs> check the statistics. Oh, did you turn in your paperwork? <laughs> I don't see paperwork. I just, I just lost because I wanted to throw it back. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought these were like okay, so let me just share with you guys what you did this month in March. You guys had a phenomenal, phenomenal March. And really what's happening is you're seeing that... <laughs> Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> What you're finding is all of your hard work through the fourth quarter where you guys really chose to be focused and to be disciplined and to not get distracted because it's slow and it's cold and all of that, um, it's starting to show up. So in March, I want to tell you what we did as a company and then you'll understand when we go through the awards what your role in that was individually. Um, we added uh, 11 agents to Keller Williams last month which was a 54% increase from March 2011. Yeah! We wrote $50,464,493 worth of volume. Uh, last year we wrote 46 and some change, so we increased our written units by 10%. Wow. Closed volume, we closed 43999023 Last March, we closed 33 million and some change. We increased our closed volume by 31%. <laughs> our closed units. In March this year, we closed 169 units. Last March, we closed 135. That's a 25% increase. Listings take in volume, so what, and this is, the, what did we talk about last week? This is the real one here, because this is who controls the market. It's a low inventory market, so he who has the listings controls the market. This is the number I want to see super, super high, because that means you guys are in charge. Listings taken, 41,559,859. That is a 12% increase from last year in March. This is also dependent on you turning your paperwork in, so we know that you took listings, so please. 
initiate a listing loop when you take a listing with us. Did I say that right? Okay. <laughs> Good job, TL. <laughs> E-Edge speak, I'm learning. Listing units, you guys uh, listed 151 units last March, 144, that's a 5% increase. So where I want you to go with this is, now month over month, for three months, we've increased production by anywhere from 20 to 35%, depending on volume or units. So you guys are doing an amazing, amazing job. And so, with that being said, I want to celebrate well, that. Can I just? Yes, please. So you just said total listings, we increased 5% mm -hmm. year over year, yet the volume is up 25%. 12%. Okay. Listing well, still, right. though, I mean, that tells us something that's happening with the prices, right? right? Our average sales price. Yeah. And what did we talk about last week in the team meeting? I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. I usually don't have a, a table. Um, you could stand on this side. What did we talk? Did I'm in your lap. What, what we talked about last week was the fact that with low inventory, what happens with supply and demand? Basic principle, people, right? Prices go up. Prices go up. They won't happen immediately but it could happen over time if the trend continues. And so we're seeing that with the listing volume right there. Yes, Bob, you can have your payday bar. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's get into awards. Um, if they're not here, they get one clap. If they're here, you can clap as long as you want. Congratulations to the Read More Group, 509,000 in closed sales volume in March. Congratulations to the Patrick James team, 546,336 in closed volume. Congratulations to Clinton Peterson, 549,000 in closed volume. That's a buyer's agent that trained and tutored for what, a year and a half, two years, and then went on his own. That's a so maps coach. Has a maps coach who calls me and then makes me harass him as well. <laughs> Congratulations to Bob Boldy, 551,000. <laughs> Congratulations to Belisa, 594,000. To Java Shaporta, our Rookie of the Year last year, 595,900 in closed volume. Backing it up. One of our newest members, Kira Dreyer, formerly Listina, 610,500 in closed volume. Another one of our newer members um, who texted me and said, I'm so sorry I can't be here, I'm a sick kid. Kimberly Anderson, out in the Valley, 626,000 in closed volume. This one I get really excited about, um, just because, man, she, is, she has worked and worked and worked as a new licensee, stayed at it for months and months and months, and it's starting to show up. Cami Donahue, 686800 without the short sale. <laughs> one day that will close. Congrats to Debbie Higby, who has a broker lunch. She left you a flyer, so she's up here. 700889 in closed box. Mr. Schwartz, the milkman, 729,400. That's right. Okay. And yeah, to right Ms. Kylie Wise, 744,685. I don't know how you pull these off. Amy Mackie Hornack, $775,099.50. We have a really great MCA. She tracks everything down to the penny. <laughs> To Vicki Hudson, 926,160 in closed box. And I don't see anyone here from Kevin Cross and Associates, 1,053,817. Okay, this is what's amazing. We're in the millions and I'm still about to go. She asked me not to do this, and yet I think she has to take the recognition because she's worked her tail off this year. Brandy Pennington, 1,138,200. Congratulations to Kevin Barrett, 1,204,000. Where did you go? Where did you go? <laughs> the Ed Erickson Group, 1,799,500. Congrats to Stuart Smith, $1,873,020. Now you get your award. <laughs> Congratulations to Beth Simpson, one million nine hundred ninety-seven thousand. Yeah. The Kylie Lucas team, two million seventy-one thousand nine hundred. Every time I see those numbers on the valley, and I remember the average sales price is like one seventy-nine. That's just. Amazing. <laughs> 
Congrats to Les Bailey and Associates, $2,105,500. Congratulations to the Matt Dimmick team, $2,353,900. $2,491,500. Congratulations to the Kristen Cole team, $2,688,714 in closed volume. Congratulations to the Dan Wolf team, top for the month of March, $3,533,600. rules out here. I think it's all like rules. We quit doing written volume awards because of our transition from RE paperless to the eEdge system. And as all of you were trying to get caught up on the system, I didn't want anybody to get their feelings hurt because they maybe didn't get an award if they hadn't tried in their stuff. Okay, gloves are off. Your awards are based on what you tell us, okay? I don't know if you've handed something based on an earnest money check. That deal could never come together. We get lots of them like, like that. Um, so what you need to do, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. When you turn in earnest money, you get an accepted offer, just initiate a green sheet. Submit. Submit. Yeah. See? That's why she's here. <laughs> Submit a green sheet. I understand it may change throughout the transaction. I get that that's frustrating. But if you can get it to us, then we can start tracking the production that you guys are writing, okay? So, congratulations to Lane Gunter, 537,000. Patrick James, team, 546,336. Lisa, 549,5. Anna, 595,9. Sarah Dreyer, 610,500. And you even get a certificate. Oh. Nate Bear, 617,400. Yeah. Vicki Hudson, 691,410. Debbie Higby, 700,889. Mike Schwartz, 729,400. Clinton Peterson, 744,500. Bob Boulding wrote 841,000. Kimberly Anderson wrote 851,000. Cami Donahue wrote 961,800. Wow. Jennifer Stockup wrote 1,063,900. While she trained all of you on the edge. <laughs> Kevin Barrett, 1,204,000. I'm just happy to see Kevin's face. Good to see you. Amy Mackey Hornack, $1,275,599 and <laughs> Miss Brandy, $1,365,700. Kevin Cross, $1,511,817. Alaska Real Estate Experts, $1,783,902. I know that number's low because I know you guys spend more. One million seven hundred ninety-nine thousand five hundred. Stuart Smith wrote two million ninety-three thousand and twenty. Heidi Lucas wrote two million two hundred seventy-one thousand nine hundred. Les Bailey and Associates two million two hundred ninety-six thousand five hundred and fifty. On here, Miss Beth nine million. Er, <laughs> The Read More Group, two million six hundred fifteen thousand nine hundred. The Matt Dimmick team wrote two million seven hundred nine thousand eight hundred. And Kristen Cole wrote three million six hundred fourteen thousand two hundred fourteen. So, if you felt like you got left off that list, and I'm sure that most of you uh, people did. Um, just give me those green sheets and we can be totally accurate and have projection reports, which would be really nice too. Anything you want to add, Mr. Bell? I didn't know that we were supposed to submit.
No, those are awesome numbers. I didn't start either. They're going to be taking the start of it. Congratulations for closing last week and writing your or ending your biggest. Right. Biggest in a really, really long time. Yeah. Good. Good. Congratulations. Over 500,000, right? Yep. Gotta love that average sales price coming up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it over to MLS. Um, I want to thank you guys for for coming, and we know that we all we're heavy team based, we're heavy IDX based, we we use all of your services. So I know you put up with us a lot. I'm so thank you so much. Um, Bev and Brian from MLS are going to take you. over for me. Oh, look at the projector back on. Well, thank you for having me. I love coming to Keller. I haven't been here in far, far too long. Allison wasn't here, so there was no reason to come. Those numbers are really staggering, guys. Good job. I'm amazed. OK, so Jennifer asked me to talk about stats. Now, I know that all of you have your weekly market analysis, weekly market total market overview. Total yeah. market overview was even close. Total market <laughs> overview that's provided by Keller. And that, boy, you guys like trounced it in the marketplace with that report. Very, very popular with consumers. But Flex has done a few things so that you can target down very specifically to what a client might need. Um, something that, that you can use in addition to your total market overview or whatever other stats you were doing. So for any of you that have already heard this or have uh, been through one of my classes, I apologize, but I'm going to overview a couple of things. First thing I'm going to talk about is the stuff that we do for you. Um, anyone here use any of the Alaska MLS monthly reports? Thank you, thank you. Four people. I work hard for four people. No. <laughs> You'll get that number up. Get that number up. Um, they are posted every month um, around the ninth of the month. We want to be sure and give enough time for the solds and the pendings to be reported. So they are in daily functions, MLS intranet. There we go. And statistics, Anchorage or Matsu, whatever your flavor might be. And you can see we've got quite a few. The one I'd like to talk about and target specifically is a look at supply and demand. So are those people that use it, who likes this one? I love that one. Yeah, good. Um, this is probably our um, most ambitious report. It's got um, the most data in it, but it's still pretty simple to explain to your sellers. And it is targeted specifically to work with sellers. Um, you'll see the top portion, we do sales by the month by price ranges, and uh, the upper ranges aren't as spread apart as I would like, and that's just the way the data comes out of the MLS. We are blessed here, I guess, to have a lot of upper range houses. Not all of America's like that. So, um, so the upper ranges are mushed together. There aren't a lot, but I know many of you, apparently many who wrote those pending offers, deal with the high-end properties. So then those 13 months on average is done on what the monthly sale is average and then the active at publication date. When we scroll down, all of that is put into absorption information. So this is months of inventory in each price range because you know if you've got somebody that has a million dollar house, the turnover for million dollar houses in Anchorage is quite different than $200,000 houses. So you have something visual to talk about days on market, months of inventory, and what the reality for them is. Over on the far right, I've got um, average days on market, uh, the active as of publication up against the sold days on market um, for the last 13 months and for six months. This is to show that if something is priced well and staged correctly, it is going to sell because the sold days on market is always substantially lower than, than the active that is full of some of those dogs. And then down at the bottom, 